Quevedo, uh, Rolin Quevedo, David Bosque, Jeter Proyedo, and David, David, come over here. Yeah, grab yourself a chair, man. Coach, you make comments about the game, do you like? Otherwise, you can ask questions. Uh, questions? Great, you want to start off? I mean, three and five years, and you're back, you know, winning it now. I mean, can you just talk about this feeling, you know, what you're able to accomplish? Out of, out of all three, this one was the most wild one. Um, it was just back and forth, back and forth. Every inning was a stressful inning. Uh, I know we're, we're, we're going to get through it because we're knocking the door every inning. Just, we couldn't uh, make it happen. Um, I was really proud of the guys. Uh, they stay level-headed, and we pulled through at the end. Um, you talk about just like the both games, the aggressiveness on the bases, how it created opportunities and forced things to happen. You know, again today, we were able to do that. Yeah, we well, we have a lot of speed on the bases. Uh, we put pressure. We stole a couple bags. Um, it, ga it gave us an advantage, I felt. And I always tell them since day one, um, to win a championship, you need defense and pitching, and, and it showed today. You know, again, let's talk about, you know, the, the whole season collectively your pitching has come through for you. But today, <coughs> like a few guys had to chip in, you know, I guess can you talk about that, to, to how you were able to? We, we pride ourselves, uh, everyone, everyone has to be ready. Um, I pulled my starter early. Um, he, he's, he's just going to have it today. Um, he, he did well for us the, the whole year. We called the next guy up and he did well. He, he shut the door for us, David, and then came, um, uh, our next pitcher, and then uh, God will close it for us. They were talking about that just coming in that big spot there, and you, know, you had to like kind of like you know shut it down there, keep giving yourself a chance. Yeah, I mean I'm always happy to come in for the team and to be able to shut it down every other game. I'm always prepared mentally and physically, so it was great to come in and just finish off the job. Um, your throw from uh, from from left field, and yeah. uh, you know that obviously was a big play at the time. You know the. You know, kind of like stop the momentum right there for right. them. I mean, you know, can you talk about it a little bit, like just what you saw on the play, and then you know. Yeah, I just saw the hit, and I knew his bases loaded, so basically I know they're gonna try to score too. So just get the ball in as quick as possible, and I, and I got him out of home. I, I guess um, for coach, um, just big picture, um, just kind of what winning three and five because looking at the record book, like. This is something that like the McCarthy's have done, the Westminster's have done, like teams, you know, programs like that. What this kind of does for Miami Christian as a program to kind of put you guys in the same, you know, kind of like in that same conversation of one of the greats kind of thing. You know, you're like you're slowly, you're, you're little by little getting. Uh, I'm an I'm an alumni graduate from 05. You know, my my coaches, uh, we've always wanted one. Last time we won was in 1975. Um, so as a player, I never won one. But I wanted to put Miami Christian where they're at now, like you say, and, and that elite. Um, and I felt like I, I built something really good, you know. Uh, we're a small school, um, but guys just, you know, want to come to us. And we have a, a culture, like I was saying uh, last last game, we have a culture of winning. And uh, from day one, we our focus is states. If not, it's it's a failure. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say something about that, just being a part of that, like something historic that you guys accomplished together. Yeah, that's basically what we do. We're just a team that we never give up at any given time. We have the team, we probably have, I feel like we have the best team since we started all year. We all play together, we all we all hustle, we all work, and this is exactly what we work for. And we just came out here and did our job and we just won the game. It's been steady. We've obviously had our ups, we've obviously had our downs, but each one of us has been able to over overcome each problem that we've had. And like that, collectively as a team, that's how we got here. Just as a team, pushing through every single little problem that we have, and getting here and just closing the job up here was definitely a great feeling. It's pretty good chemistry with the team, and uh, after bat, we had guys coming in from different places, different schools, and we were able to put the team together well, and just put the chemistry well, and all the guys just having fun and playing baseball as it is. We nice love. We've all been playing with each other since kids, so it was easy to come together and just come out here and win, come out top. Just run it back next year. <laughs> sir, go. Yes, sir. Talk about the energy a little bit. It looked like it was a little tense early, and then when it, they were up one nothing, it was kind of tight. And then as soon as you got the game tied, it kind of seemed like you guys knew at that point that 
that, that you were the better, maybe even for today, the better team. Did you guys feel that in the dugout? Because that's what it looked like. Absolutely. Absolutely. At first, yeah. we were just pouting. We were getting mad. We, we didn't execute on the first inning. We had a man on third. Well, now we didn't score. But we knew the team we have. We, we were down last game as well. We came back in the sixth inning. We, we won the game. This game, too, we came back. We were hitting the ball. We started playing good defense. Our pitcher was doing the job, and we just came out here and did our job like we always do. Just talk a little bit about the schedule. Uh, we, we see teams come up here all the time from down south, and we were talking yesterday that if North Broward wins tomorrow, three of the state final teams would have been in that first tournament. Um, <laughs> so, so talk about that kind of competition. I, I always try to put the, the – I feel – if you look at my schedule in the past, the first two, three weeks, I, like, I want to challenge them right away. To set the tone to, to what we're gonna we want to accomplish, um, we I feel like we have one of the toughest schedules in in Miami or in the state of Florida, and uh, we beat some elite teams. We beat the IMG, you know they're ranked in the nation. We went in there and it's hard to win in there. And we we took a, a W from them. Um, we 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 they sacrificed so much uh, when when the beginning of the season we were practicing two a days. We'll be on the f uh, wor uh, working out at five a.m. Then we'll. We'll go to class and come back we'll, we'll and practice till six o'clock. So I, I feel that they're prepared for that, and that's why I put a type of schedule to be where we're at now and win. That first one in 2018. I mean, now three, you know, three years later, four years later, three championships later. Do you find yourself enjoying these more now that, than you did that first time? Yeah, I, that, like I was saying, this one's the most enjoyable out of all of them. The the first one, you know, I felt um, that. We, we we had a good team, but it it it, 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 it um it was a lot to get there. And then um, I had Rosario, you know, I had him for four years. He's he's in Miami now. He was our horse, and then you can't replace him. So we we're every every year we got to figure out a way to reinvent ourselves and get to that elite. I've never had a, a such a offensive offensive team. We always low scoring team and pride ourselves in defense and pitching. But this year, I, I have had I think this is the most talented team I've had in the past. I've been coaching for 10 years here at Miami Christian. Guys, you got what you need. Very good. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations.